Welcome to Cameron House Marina, I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland and this is a 2003 Sea Line S34. Powered by the larger Volvo Penta AD41 200 horsepower turbo diesel engines, a big upgrade on the standard CAD 32 170 horsepower variant, she was purchased by us directly from a well respected member of the Sea Line owners group who has had loving tenureship of her since 2012. A whole host of extras above and below the surface. Without doubt, she must be the best example available today. Let's go through her in fine detail and find out what the fuss is about. Now the hull is entirely and completely gleaming after an extensive full-on machine polish and wax coating. Subsurface, well, we stripped the pure white anti-fill all the way back down to the gel coat and gave it two fresh coats onto the blemish-free hull. Now at the transom, we do have three underwater blue LED lights. You've then got your two L-rim trim tabs and then both of the drive legs here were anti-filled in grey. And you can see both of the counter rotating dual props are in good dink free order and they move nice and freely without vibration. The anodes were also replaced on both of the drive legs and the drive legs as well were serviced. Now, mediocre is not a word in the Marine Sales Scotland vocabulary, and this sea line here is testament to the high quality product that the company turn out. Now, everyone from the backroom staff and all those behind the scenes who work so tirelessly getting the boat to look exactly like this, all the way up until the point of presentation, which is me holding this camera right now. Everyone works so hard to be able to present something in as fabulous a condition as this to you. So at the back here, you can see we've got blue LED lights. Now they are continued underwater. You saw them earlier on as the boat was out past the breakwater. We've got our twice inlaid teak swim platform. So what we've done to the teak is we have stripped it back and then we've recoated it, not twice, but three times. We've given the whole entire hull of the boat an extensive double coat machine polish. We have anti-filled the hull in pure white, which you saw when she was out of the water. And then all of the perspex in the canopies has been replaced. The canopies have been laundered and then we've also done a few bits inside to the upholstery. Now starting at the back, you do have an aux bracket. If you do bring a dinghy with you, it means you can stow it outside. I do really like that being able to stow stuff out of the way. That also continues here with an extremely oversized fender locker. So you can tuck your fenders away, keep your ropes out of sight, out of mind. And then also with the canopies, what you can do is sea line are the only ones that I know so far who do it. You can roll all of these up, they tuck away under here, and that just transforms the entire back of the boat into this vast open space. Let's go into to the cockpit here in detail. The cockpit is very expansive, loads of seating up here. 10, 11 people is not a problem. You've got these huge windows as well. So if you are cruising inland waterways, everyone has a great view. The radar arch doesn't take up too much space. Now the upholstery you might notice, well, that looks very, very clean. Well, even better than clean, it is brand new. Literally, it was re-upholstered and solidified back into place no more than about four or five hours ago. So a very, very much brand new product up here. Now you do have our cockpit wet bar, that's off to the port side here. That consists of a hot and cold enamel sink. And then we do have the day fridge. Let me just access that by here. There we go. So there is a little freezer compartment there as well if you do want to bring any ice on board for your champagne. Red wine in this case when the bubbly's all gone. So we've got C-shaped seating and that is all focused around the table. You do have these three overhead spotlights on the well-polished radar arch. Looking back, so you're probably five, six people there, at least another two, three, and then you do have your double helm. Now there is storage underneath this compartment here, and that hosts the, the day bed cushions for this. Let me show you. So all we need to do is remove this cushion. And then if you lift that up, you can see there's an abundance of storage in there for four cushions. Let me pop that back into place. Perfect. You can see here, so we've got fusion stereo speakers. The chaise lounge is very, very expansive, a really comfortable position. You've got this triple ribbed backrest here, and then you've got an inlaid area if you want to put your phone in there as you're underway. You can see the lip here, and it is drained, so if it does get wet, that's fine, but it means your things aren't gonna be flying around as you are underway. Now, the canopies are in really good condition. It's great that you're seeing it on a, on a typical day here in Scotland because there's no leaks, there's no moisture coming in, and you can see that it is very well sealed with a runner up along 
the fiberglass radar arch exactly how you want it to be but you can whip these off very quickly and what comes off extremely quickly are the back sections there which is how a lot of people like to do it you can imagine sitting here having a glass of wine in the evening maybe you're on the south coast overlooking the sunset what more could you want from life so double helm position now just before we touch that just tucked away below the double helm position is one of the vents for the warm air heating so even in the winter you've got the usability for all four seasons especially with these canopies as i mentioned they're in great condition we've renewed all the prospects so driving up here living up here in the colder months is not a problem at all fusion stereo system as i mentioned you've got your raymarine speed and your raymarine depth we've also then got a raymarine hybrid touch multifunction display so this has a chart plotter on it gps and you've also got your depth finder but what's an even better depth finder or fish finder is your raymarine dragonfly 5 VHF comes with the boat as well, also does a bow thruster and then we've got a remote controlled spotlight. Now that is on the radar arch and that rotates so if you lose something in the water at night you can pick it up, not a problem at all. We've also got uh, L-rim hydraulic trim tabs and then these here are your ignitions. And as was testament to the latest sea line models, all the newer models had this brushed aluminium dash, they had the blue you can see around the entire console and then the much sought after blue tinted windscreen. Maybe not visible by camera, but certainly very visible in person. It really does make a slight subtle but very noticeable difference to the clear glass. So where the S34 comes into a realm of its own is certainly the downstairs living accommodation. It feels almost as big as a Targa 30 and it's certainly much better finished. Now the first signs, before you even head down the stairs, that show you that this boat has been lovingly cared for are actually the steps. Now normally, if you look at any sea line boat, these often have impact damage from where the owners have carelessly just walked down with their shoes. It's definitely been a shoes off downstairs boat. And look at that, not a single mark on either of the three steps heading down. There's full standing headroom. You've got your U-shape seating off to the starboard side. Then off to the port is the galley. Forward, we've got the master cabin, followed by the ensuite, and then tucked away in here is the aft cabin. So let's get started here. We've got our U-shape seating. The table is high, low, manually, and you can drop in filler cushions there to turn that into another berth if you want to. So you can see we've got vents here. That is for the reverse cycle air conditioning system that's on board. We also do have diesel heating. Now it's an Everspacker unit that is located just here, right next to your main master switchboard. Just below that you can see is the DVD player slash television. You've also got a SCART cable if you want to plug in a PlayStation or something like that. You've then got another control for the onboard Fusion Stereo system. Now you can plug in your iPod to that as well or you can tune in to local AM FM radio. Just tucked away next to that is the onboard Glomex. We've got little storage lockers in the corners of the boat. Every single last aspect of this space has been used and then all of the joinery is in perfect condition. I'm sure you can see that as is the headlining and also as is the upholstery. There's no signs of damp coming around any of the window seams. We've checked that and that's consistent throughout the entirety of the boat. And as I mentioned, the carpets are in perfect condition. Definitely, it has been shoes off. Things that you don't get in a, in a Targa 30, a Fairline Targa, were a gas oven. That was a highly expensive option, but it comes as standard in this boat. And look at that, you can see that it looks like it's never been used. Again, a very big round of applause to the onboard valeting and preparation team. All of these cupboards here provide ample storage for cutlery, glasses, pots and pans. You've then got another fridge slash freezer compartment tucked away down here plus dedicated cutlery storage three rows of it i love it right take away the main sink top now that is also doubling as a chopping board but then you've got your twin sinks and if we move vino i'm doing that very slowly underneath here we do have not one, but two gas burners. And again, attention to detail, look how that clips in. So while you are underway at sea, if you are cooking, it's not gonna fall back on you. Perfect, let's get that tucked away again. You do have speakers for the onboard stereo system down here, there's one. There's another one just tucked away over there. Lots of natural light with 
the double line windows so you can see you've got some eye line and also some at head height then you do have another access hatch just as well so you can see when the door shut so you saw the privacy glass looking in very difficult to see but looking out great viewing now people often use the word cozy to explain or to soften the blow of a space that's very cramped and tight but this is very genuinely very very cozy and warm down here but it also feels bright it's spacious as the upholstery is all very light it looks very very tidy in here indeed so looking back into the aft cabin now this is a double you can also remove one of the pieces to make it into two twin beds so we've got storage that runs the entire way along here there's one of the lockers We've also got another storage locker just tucked away and here you can see that also has up at the top a rail so if you want to bring a dinner suit or you want to hang up your jacket you certainly can do that there. So let's take a little look inside at how expansive this aft cabin is. Now this arguably could be the master. Why? Because it's full beam. So you can see there from window to window the entire beam of the boat. So up at the back now if I zoom in you can see how well conditioned that is again it looks as if it is brand new you've got curtains up the back there next to your two reading lights and also there is a lip for storage if you want to you're probably going to sleep with your head up there so you will likely want to put your phone up there next to you just in case your alarm goes off like that in the morning and you don't have a crawl up to get it so that is the vent for the onboard air conditioning system I'm sat in the overspill seat right now I've got loads of headroom my head isn't even close to touching the upholstered panels on the ceiling now they say that vanity is for the vein but with a boat like this anything goes and you certainly will want to check yourself out before you head out onto the quayside when you come from a boat like this that is in fantastic condition there's no rips or tears and it also just looks that extra bit classy it looks the same colour as the joinery it's slightly darker I would say it's plum perfect so we've covered the aft cabin what we've got now is the forward cabin and also the jack and jill accessible ensuite plenty of bright light so we've got a pump flush sea toilet with a waste tank that is covered by the toilet lid in there you can see pump flush action and that drains into the waste tank there's also a macerator for overboard discharge if you're at sea as well now you can remove the shower faucet that will clip on to that there and you can see the track for the curtain you can lock each of these doors as well so if you are the guest staying in the aft cabin you don't want these people encroaching on you well just fire that up lock it and make sure and unlock it after use so you've got plenty of storage in the back here for toothbrush toothpaste bleach anything like that just to keep it all nice and clean we'll put that away and then you've got a little bit more storage just down below jack and jill door access a real big one, something that I really do rate extremely highly. You tend to only get them as standard on the sea lines. Not many other makers do it as well. So moving forward into the owner's cabin, likely the owner's cabin, I must say. So we've got an island berth. Now it is off-centered and that is great because it gives you so much more space. You can imagine if this was just directly out at you, it's obtuse and it is intrusive space-wise. But with this, you've got a lot of space to A, access the head, you can get halfway around the bed, almost entirely around the bed to make it and also to access your vanity just next to Jaws here. So we've got another vanity cupboard right there. You've got curtains, as you can see, to pull along and then you've also got blinds for the forward escape hatch which lets light pour into here. Now you've got his and hers lockers on either side for storage and then we've also got another huge storage locker with a rail and an external shelf also. Now the roof gradually slopes away there, but it doesn't intrude on headroom. As you come through the door, there is full standing head height. All the joinery, fantastic down here. No signs of wear or tear, to be honest with you. You wouldn't even know that someone has slept in the bed. Carpets, lovely, as you would expect from a boat that we turn out. Now, if I sit up here and get another little view of the forward cabin, that again is just another vent for the onboard air conditioning system. But if those of you who do not like cramped spaces were to come in here, you've got your eye line 
portholes, they do open. You've also got loads of light coming in from the escape hatch and the upholstery and all the texturing is just so bright. It gives it such an elegant, airy, crisp feel. I think the only thing to really do now would be show you the engines. Powered by a pair of Volvo Penta AD41 200 horsepower turbo diesel engines with a little over 600 hours run, these are a far superior option to the standard CAD 32 170 horsepower diesels. The reason being is that they have a far superior planing time compared to any other engine that was fitted to this boat. Aside from her excellent standstill to plane speed, she also boasts a much healthier top speed than the CAD 32 variants. Both of these engines were serviced in-house by us at Marine Sales Scotland, but for your extra peace of mind, we also offer this with a Marine Sales Scotland three-month engine and drive leg, no quibble guarantee. If you need work done on these within warranty, we'll get it done. A lovely and clean engine bay. Let's take one final look at the outside. Not the type of craft that you come across very often, especially in this condition we keep on banging on about it the c word but seriously seeing is believing you really need to come down and see her yes you could probably find one cheaper elsewhere but will you find one in this condition with a warranty with the bigger engines no simply no i'm ruben from marine sales scotland where fun in the water begins <laughs>